have you ever seen compounded mitomycin stored in your refrigerator or freezer at your surgery center? Yes, and actually prior to the Midasol kits, which requires no refrigeration and can be stored with other supplies, we used to have to put our mitomycin C in the refrigerator, but I know this violates the new USB 800 guidelines. Now it calls for segregated storage and refrigeration. Is this correct? Well, yes. If you are storing hazardous drugs, okay, you cannot store hazardous drugs with other drugs. And that's because it is not uncommon for there to be residue of the drug on the syringes or vials you get from the pharmacy or the manufacturer. Now, if you have to refrigerate hazardous drugs, it does require a dedicated refrigerator for hazardous drugs only. And that refrigerator has to live in a negative pressure room with 12 air exchanges per hour, externally vented. So, you know, that could be very costly for a facility to have to put in place before November 1st. So no matter what, a small or large amount? It doesn't matter um, how much of the drug you store. Even if it's a small amount, it will require the, the segregated storage and the dedicated refrigerator. Okay, great. When do the USP 800 standards go into effect? The new standards will be uh, official and made enforceable on November 1st of this year. This means that the Joint Commission and the AAAHC will be surveying for compliance with these standards. That's great. Thank you very much.